Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you today what you can do with glossy paper. Now most, uh, most of the time we won't touch it, it's not what we are working with, but nonetheless it can be used. Now um, uh, a long time ago I bought this from the cheap store, I didn't know it would be glossy on the inside and basically I'm claiming temporary insanity because there is a lot of cabbage roses here and I don't like cabbage roses but so I was thinking how I can uh, use uh, this uh, all this paper because I really don't like it and it's glossy now uh, this is a book of wrapping uh, paper and this one also and they are all glossy another other things that are glossy and you can use is all kinds of brochures wrapping paper left from a uh, whatever uh, this is <laughs> just from some packaging you can uh, cut a uh, pieces from any kind of packaging that has glossy surface on the outside and if there are even books with all kinds of glossy paper on the inside and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with all of this now the effect the technique the effect that I'm going to show you is a um, very uh, between the surfaces it depends on the quality of the paper and it also depends on what you're using on it I'm going to use permanent markers. Now, permanent markers, I'm meaning alcohol-based markers, like Sharpies. Now, here we don't have them. We have imitation in the cheap store, or we have other stuff from the cheap store, or we have a art line. This is another a brand a, for alcohol-based permanent markers. So going to use permanent markers we also need a uh, alcohol i'm using 70 percent alcohol and let's see so first of all uh, let's take one of these like yeah cabbage roses even if i liked cabbage roses this is quite plain uh, and boring uh, paper so what I'm going to do and it's let's do it like this I'm going to show you several examples and as I said it varies in between a oh. let's see now when you're putting a uh, permanent markers on a glossy uh, paper, they react together. They have time to react in between because they are not absorbing into the papers. And sometimes this is good because then you create other uh, color in between. So I can do whatever I want, I can do dots, I can do circles, I do, can do spirals, I can do whatever I want and see what happens. This is a completely a playing around and experimenting with this. I'm just going to do a, several like this. Just so you can you will see what's happening and it doesn't have to be uh, in circles just do whatever uh, you feel like now uh, of course if you are putting just uh, see what colors interact with other colors and how it turns out on your page not everything will be nice not everything will work experiment so just for the example I'm taking a fan brush with the Hulk on and I'm going to start splattering alcohol here 
Now, this is not something you can control. So, <laughs> don't try. <laughs> it will be just a, a study and frustration. So, you can also wait a few seconds until the, all the alcohol evaporates and it's dry. And then you can come back and splatter again. It, this is com complete and utter experiment because it, it all the result is always different. I can splatter it again and it will react differently each time. So it just until you are satisfied with the result. Now it looks kind of icky right now, but I will show you what uh, I'm going to do with it that it won't be like this. This is just for the experiment. Now, this was the cabbage roses. Let's see. Here is just some brochure. And let's take again the same colors. Really doesn't matter. Once again. You see the different effect depends on the surface. So this is another example. And here is the packaging. Let's do the same thing again. And I'm also going to show you what I'm going to do with all this. just pick some page in the book now this is uh, not I'm not sure if it will uh, happen because it's not glossy enough we'll see as I said it really it uh, depends on the quality of the paper and how glossy it is. So there is a little bit of reaction, but not as on these two surfaces. So that's what uh, I'm basically the technique. Moving this aside. Now you can also use all kinds of wrapping uh, paper. It should be very interesting to experiment on that. Another uh, example, I've got this wrapping paper and I tried to put um, darker colors. As you can see, the black, the, I have purple here and blue. And I can also go again up and I've done it like an hour ago and I can still activate it with the alcohol not much to see it really is difficult but uh, nonetheless it reacts and you you can also think of doing things with something like that so moving this also aside now I've done a uh, several uh, like this and I'm going to show you what I've done with them this is one of my junk uh, journals let's see here it is i just cut them and with another permanent marker with a very fine tip just made some uh, lines and i've got this uh, crazy flowers now uh, from uh, another uh, cabbage roses uh, paper that i had i've tried and done the same thing and i made these flowers and I'm going to show you how it's done. It's the same technique, but uh, that's what uh, went in. That's what happened. So let's see. Where is it? Where did I put them? Here it is. So that was the paper. I, I don't know how much you can see, but there is a cabbage rose here. 
<laughs> so what I've done, I just put some of the pink here at the ends of the petals. Took the light blue on the inside and made it uh, also uh, go over part of the pink and now I've got in between I've got purple now I can also take the black and just put it a little bit on the edges and it also will react when I will splatter the alcohol so here it is let's put it on something white so you can see the effect taking alcohol with a fan brush and I'm going to come close and you see it reacts and I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds before I'm splattering it again until I'm satisfied <laughs> with the effect again a few seconds here we go that's what I like so I'm really hoping you uh, you've seen what I've done here Moving all of this aside, I've glued down in my junk journal one of these uh, cabbage roses blah <laughs> paper and I'm going to do some something on it. So let's see, I want uh, some, uh, I think I want blue and green and in the background I'm putting it under just a, and I'm going to just put down some markers and alternate between let's see I have more markers all from the cheap store and I'm letting them overlap again it just helps okay let's see let's do more of the light blue basically it doesn't matter just play with it and I do try to cover all uh, of the paper and let's see do I want blue 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 yeah let's put some blue I think I'll keep it to the edges it's quite dark just to add to the whole mix I don't have a, a lot of uh, colors in my permanent markers so just working with what I have now as I said when they are meeting together they are reacting and sometimes you get more colors in between I'm trying to cover everything because sometimes although you have reaction with the alcohol uh, it doesn't spread everywhere and I don't like uh, the white spots uh, to to come through just adding another color and a 
it looks messy but who cares this is the background we can play and do whatever we want let's move along trying to be quick about it because it really doesn't matter where everything goes okay I think we have coverage and now I'm going to start splattering I don't know if you can see but uh, it's not all the time uh, you can see the reaction at first it takes like one or two, two seconds until you can see some reaction just keep at it I'm trying to <laughs> splatter and bring still be close to the camera so you can see what's going on now if you feel that there is an area that doesn't uh, have enough alcohol or reaction you can always dip your uh, brush or, or whatever uh, the other side and just do put it where you want it to react now there is a, a higher percent alcohol that would probably do a better job than the 70 percent but here I don't know why it's very ex expensive I need to buy it in the pharmacy and it's a very small bottle and expensive so I just make do with the 70% that I can also buy a uh, cheaply so I just keep on splattering now if you are a uh, more of a control freak you can also take the brush and help areas along if you want more blending and less the look of splattering so another thing that you can do really up to you and here we go letting it be and then splattering again and there is a reaction until you're satisfied okay so I'm going to let this be I really want it to dry and then splatter it one uh, and just one more time and then I'm going to come again well let's move it and I will show you another page I've got these two pages uh, that I've just used yellow orange and the pink and just splattering I want to do flowers from this and here I didn't uh, I didn't cover everything as you can see there is a some of it is peeking out but never mind here it's a it's a harder to see the effect on the pink you can see it on the yellow and the orange it's a little bit more difficult and now where I have a white I can go in like this if I want to and just help it along or I can just leave it be and enjoy the outcome as it is keep splattering it now another thing once it's dry you and if you don't like it you can always go in and add whatever you want 
I can add some red or whatever and then I can go in again and splatter it and I can also again move it along really depends on you and your <laughs> experimenting so this too needs to dry I'm going to uh, punch a uh, flowers from them and here is my background it seems like it's dry I'm going to just splatter it again I really like what's going on here but I want just a little bit more splatter So again needs to dry, I, uh, well, it doesn't take a, a lot of time, so let's start uh, with the flowers. I'm thinking I've got this punch, a three inch punch, if you don't have a punch just uh, take your uh, paper, fold it uh, two times and just make yourself a flower like let's see if I have something just fold and fold and cut a flower draw the petals and cut your flower so let's see one and maybe another one here. I now that it's cut, it looks wonderful. When it's still like this, you it's like you can see all the marks that you made and it looks almost awful but once it's cut into flowers or whatever shape that you want you can do balloons then it really uh, looks different so here it is I want another flower let's see So this one doesn't look as pretty as the two others. So as I said, I can go again, put some more marker and again, splatter it. And I can also go and do a control line. I can take some ink ink pad with a sponge and go over the edges the, the possibilities are endless so yeah Ooh. this is this looks almost like flower power <laughs> the 70s are back <laughs> okay so I'm just going to glue them down I really like it to, this colorful page just using a glue stick you can do uh, some uh, leaves you can do whatever you want with this uh, technique And I'm going to uh, let it uh, go over the edge into the next page. That's one of the things that I love with my junk journal. I'm letting loose and doing whatever. 
if it will work it will work won't work won't work never mind just helping it fold here yeah this needs more glue Now, just one more ID that I had. Let's see if it will work. Uh, <laughs> cards, playing cards. They are also uh, glossy. So I figured let's try, maybe it will work. And I'm just using the same. the same colors I've used before You see they mix. I've touched with the yellow, uh, I've touched the uh, pink and the orange and they mix. Once again. Let's see. Let's put it again. Let's see if it will work. And it does. <laughs> Quite nicely. Okay, so this is a complete success. I really like it. Let it dry for a few seconds. And let's see. I'm going to use... I thought about a, like a using this a section and just a stamping love on top here or something or writing love with the permanent marker but I really like the card and I'm thinking I'm just going to put it in another uh, page I just love it as is so <laughs> I don't know I will have to find another one with a heart on it and yeah another ace ace of heart and I'll find one I'll use this one and let's see permanent marker do I have yeah so let's I'm trying to think how I'm going to write it Okay, good enough. Now I just want this to be uh, as round as these two corners. Uh, so let's see. I do have something to round corners if I can just find it now okay here it is I have a punch for it and let's see let's try this one good enough yeah yeah it's going here 
Definitely. Oh, I'm so pleased with it. And I still have this piece to play with in something uh, else. So, again, just playing around. And I still have this. I'm moving this aside and just so you will have more uh, ideas. Let's see if I still got time on my camera. That only allows me 30 uh, minutes. No, I don't. I'm going to do something quickly, come back and show you, and that will be it. I'll be back. I'm back. So, uh, this was the page, and I took uh, what I had more on this page and made this tag with these flowers. Just took one flower, glued it here, cut it, and put the other uh, on this side. And I'm still thinking of adding something to the background, Not don't know yet. Now, this is going... I just uh, looked at it, and I'm thinking this is going to go here. I'm just going to add... <coughs> sorry more a uh, color here that will correspond with this page probably some uh, blue like this and more a uh, turquoise i don't know but this is probably going here now i've cut the other pieces that we i've done uh, we had the try out here i've cut several pieces from here and i'll show you what i've what i've done let's see where is it here it is. So these are two pieces that were here, just that we experimented with. I just cut them out, went with a permanent and a marker, and very loosely done that. This one is uh, the one that was on the brochure, and again with a permanent marker. And this one, I've done this uh, butterfly also here on this uh, paper just put some a uh, turquoise a uh, green and dark green splattered it with the alcohol stamped it with this stamp cut it out and here it is so you can see there are a lot of options to uh, play with it and do many uh, crazy and wonderful things with it so I hope you will try your hand at it and have fun so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.